Hello everybody and welcome to the third and final part of my series of videos from the Washington State Fair. These photos are going to be all from the evening portion from about dusk through when I left the fair around nine o'clock. Uh, if you have missed uh, part one or part two of this video series, the links for those will be below. Also below will be a link to all the photos that you can uh, look at on Flickr, so I hope you enjoy that. Uh, just a couple quick thoughts uh, about these photos coming up. Uh, first of all, I'd really been looking forward to this portion of the day. Uh, I enjoy the long exposure photos with light trails from the rise doing uh, interesting things and looking different in each photo. Uh, I've spent about 45 or so minutes creating photos uh, of those long exposures with the rides. Uh, that was accomplished with the Viltrox 13mm uh, lens as well as I think it's a six stop ND filter. Most of those exposures are about 30 seconds. Uh, I think a couple of them are even 60 seconds. So I have some more thoughts to share with you at the end of the photos and make sure you stay tuned to the end because I also will have a little bit of an update on the next video not from the fair. So sit back, relax, enjoy these photos, and I'll see you in a couple minutes. So there you have it, the last batch of photos from the Washington State Fair 2022, this time the night photos, photos from dusk through the end of my time at the fair. I'd uh, love to hear your thoughts and comments on the photos. Please leave them uh, down below and look forward to that conversation with you. Uh, a couple of thoughts on the photos as I'm thinking about them and thinking about the day at the fair. Uh, I had been really looking forward to these uh, night photos, especially the long exposure ones. That's what I was most looking forward to. And it turns out to be the ones I was most disappointed in. And here's why I was disappointed. Um, they had moved some of the rides around from the last time I was there. So the compositions had changed and the groupings of what was possible to get 
uh, of the multiple rides in one photos with some motion. So I was kind of bummed about that. Secondly, the thing I was bummed about was uh, one of the rides, it's the, uh, it's the swing that goes up and down uh, and goes around and around, uh, used to have lights on the arms so you would get this cool spiral trail of lights as well. And at least while I was there, they had those lights turned off. So it was just a, a column that spun. So that was the part that was lit. And it wasn't, at least to me, as interesting. So I got over it, um, created some still, I think, some interesting photos, uh, especially with some of the sunset glow behind the, uh, the roller coaster and uh, the, the Ferris wheel and uh, all that other stuff. So once I was done with the long exposure photos, I decided I was going to go do some photos of the different games, some of those booths, some of the food vendors, uh, just some of the night stuff and the different look you get with uh, the booths that are lit up and the darkness around it. So as I started creating these photos, and for these I was using the Viltrox 23mm f1.4, and I looked at the back of the camera, I was really excited. Um, there was this drama to the light. Uh, the camera light fall off is different than what we see with our eyes. By that I mean these photos went to shadow much more quickly. So it got darker, more mysterious, more isolated. Each of these little pockets of light then become isolated and stand on their own like these little islands of light. And I was really enjoying playing with that. I was also really enjoying uh, noticing these little moments uh, of people involved in the in the games, people um, and some of the game workers, uh, especially some of these photos near the end of the day when it's just mostly individuals or, you know, a single person, uh, some silhouettes, the, the horse rider coming back from the rodeo, uh, the that gentleman walking towards one last food stand uh, with all the light uh, and just kind of concentrating on the, the quiet part of the fair and the individuals of the fair and ending with that last photo of the, the game booth worker just by himself and there's no one else around. So I had a lot of fun with those. And, and next time I go to the fair, I'm gonna spend even more time on those and, and less time on the long exposure, which I still enjoy, but I really had a lot of fun uh, just exploring that mood, that whole vibe of the evening and how it's so much different than during the day. So if you get a chance, go do uh, a night at your local fair. Uh, it's, it's such a different look. Uh, everything glows and has a different feeling to it than it does during the day, which makes it almost in some ways easier to create interesting photos just because it looks so different. I highly, highly recommend it. And this reminds me even more that I need to go to Bellevue at night when it's all shiny and maybe after a rain and get some of that. Speaking of Bellevue, I will be going back to Bellevue. So my next video will be a return to Bellevue, but we're gonna do something different as I always like to do. So here's what I'm gonna do different. I've had the X-H2S for about two and a half, almost three months now. So what I'm gonna do is do the photo walk in downtown Bellevue, some street photography with the x T1, my original Fujifilm X camera. See the difference of using this almost eight year old camera? Eight year old, I think it's eight years old. So I'm looking forward to using the X-T1, see how it's different uh, than the X-H2S, all the evolution, all the revolution of changes. And uh, so I'll share those photos with you in next week's video. As always, I look forward to your comments, thoughts, suggestions on this video. Please leave them in the comments below. And I also greatly appreciate if you'd click on the like button. Also, the subscribe button will help you see future videos uh, show up in your YouTube feed. And I appreciate that as well. So thanks for uh, watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video. So until we meet again on this YouTube channel, stay safe, stay well, and have fun creating photos. Bye for now.